Well, all right, all right, all right. Welcome back, everybody. It's Big Al. Hey, uh, I got a challenge locking device called Fourth Amendment <laughs> by uh, Lock Picking Patrolman. Uh, I got a package from him not too long ago, and uh, he was kind enough to put a uh, challenge lock together and toss it in the box, so it is appreciated. Uh, it also had a number six on the key tag, so I went ahead and put that on there, too. And I wanted to just say something real quick to... Uh, some of the my uh, newer subscribers um, if you're not aware I do have my uh, Contact email right here if you ever want to get a hold of me. It's always on this Funky old little clacker. I use right here. So hit me up if you like uh, It's always there um, Let's get zoomed in a little bit here Or a lot of bit here Okay, maybe not so much. Let's go like this a little bit All right so, I uh, have not tried this yet, um, but there's the key. He didn't mummify it. He's saying, bring it on. And it works like a brand new lock. Actually, it doesn't even feel modified too much. I mean, that's smooth as silk. And uh, bidding looks pretty wild, but... Okay, uh, so, being as it is, a uh, pretty damn wide open uh, quick set keyway. I can use top of the keyway, and uh, there's a ledge right there. Hopefully the camera will pick it up right there uh, that I can pick off of, which is, uh, I think, Quickset uh, made that easy for us. Okay, like I said, top of the keyway. I do have the microphone above the lock again. Um, you guys that's been uh, watching my videos for a while, um, let me know if, uh, is that having the microphone right there any better or uh, should I switch back to how it used to be about a month ago or uh, let me know I, I think it does pick up the lock pretty damn good but you know once it's uploaded and uh, depending on what you're watching it on you know stuff changes down the line so let me know I'm always uh, always open to uh, suggestions input all that good stuff all right, let me get a feel for it. I'm gonna be using the sparrows, or I think I am. I'm gonna try starting with it anyway. Like a sh uh, very, I guess a, a short. I don't even wouldn't even call it a hook, really. Just a low rise, maybe. All right, about a boom, about a bang. Get a feel for it. We got a binder out back already. Yeah, right off the bat, it's four or five is binding big time. Okay, let's do this. About a boom, about a bang. Go right to that binder. That's how you that's how you pick a lock. You look for the first binder and follow suit. Second binder is uh, I think pin three. I think. Counter rotation. Gotta look that feels like it's set. Nothing on one, two let me see. Nothing on one, two, three, four. Five. Five feels set. Four. Three. Oops. Ooh. Whoa. Turned a little bit there. Alright, one, two, three four and five four doesn't want to move counter rotation a little bit there on that third one feels like five drop though four I think I overset three. Let's do this again. One. Okay, two. Whoa. Three. Four. Four. Okay, got a little bit of turn on the core. Nothing on one. Two, three, four. 
Huh. It just kind of went dead on me. Three. One, two, three. There we go. Popped her open. Uh, yeah. Let's take that. Why not? It's open. Okay. Uh, let me get zoomed back out. And get it out of this vise. And uh, if you've seen my last video, uh, you'll all know that um, for the... Uh, Month of October is, um, I had to think of what month it was. The month of October is uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, so, there we go. It's very much open. Fair enough. So, I'm going to lock it back up. Uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So, this entire month, uh, myself and, and uh, several others, or many others, actually, will be using uh, this pink, uh, pink stuff to... Uh, show a little bit of love to uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You know, the, the pink ribbons and the pink, we're using pink penning trays and all that good stuff. So, just to show a little bit of love, like I said. Um, see, we got a clip on the back here. I'm not sure if this tool can work on that or not. It is a quick set tool. And it just wants to spin around, of course. Why would they make it easy? Yeah, maybe. I can get it in there. Whoa! Okay, I'll find that after. <laughs> it went down on the side of the table. We'll get it. I put it back together. Okay, so we got a key here, and it's got a funky, funky back on it. So I will try to bridge that with a shim if I can. Let's see. A little rotation there. All right, and pink follower. Uh, there we go. Ooh, what the flip a do? Okay, there we go. Drop the first pin. I'll just put it back. There we go. Five pinner, all needed picking. Let's get them laid out. That's five. This one flips around. I believe that's how they go. Okay, get some specs on here. Uh, let's see here, pokey. And the core, we've got threading and everything. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get that on camera. Threading and everything. There we go. Trying to get the angle right there. All right, going upstairs. Oh, I flipped this around a little funky, but that's okay. We still got a nice slot there to uh, keep the pin straight up and down. That's why I like using the slotted ones this way the pins will uh, stand straight up and not flip over so you don't lose their orientation. Looks like we got a, oh man, that slot sucks. <laughs> it's not, it's uh, uh, not shaped uh, where I can get them out of there. Oh boy. Okay, pin one is a standard. I put the follower in backwards basically I should have used that slot two looks like a serrated if I can get it out of there yep serrated and two a little nub of a spring uh, three is another 
uh, almost spooly like or wide serrations there we go again with not knowing how to name this stuff that was three so we're going for four four looks like a standard I think yep standard and four and we'll go to the other side and get five we'll have that good slot there there we go and we've got a multi serrated kind of combobulation and number five all right let's see if there's anything upstairs that's a negative nothing upstairs all right all right all right all right uh, pokey key lock picking a patrolman that was uh we'll put fourth amendment right there like so all righty pokey we can look at some pins here bring the light down all right once again that was uh fourth amendment from the uh lock picking patrolman pretty fun little pick there man actually i enjoyed it uh okay let's take a look at some pins uh keep i uh, my visor down here we go key pins we got a uh serration on the top of uh number one and this uh i was gonna say it's um uh what do you want to call that it's uh a quick set pin so they're kind of uh tapered on both ends so I don't think he did that um, intentionally. I think that's the way quick set pins are made. Um, three is a standard. Four is a double serrated. Five is a standard. I say four, yeah. Five is a standard. Uh, drivers, standard and one. And then we got this kind of multi serrated. And it looks like some of the, um, being these quick sets, uh, where's that core at? The, um, the uh, metal they make these things out of. Um, it's it's not real good uh, so when you thread these basically and you can actually see it down in there a little bit the uh, metal kind of flakes and if you look if the camera will pick it up um, there's some of the uh, metal flakes stuck in these serrations that's what's gonna happen because that metal is uh, they use really cheap metal in uh, them locks there um, three is a, like I said, it's almost, um, spooly like, we'll call it serrated, multi serrated. Four is a standard and five, uh, multi serrated with a reduced end on it. Almost T pin, but it's kind of short, so, uh, I don't know if that would work fully like a T pin. And then the springs, it looks like steel, copper, copper, steel, copper, if I got it right. Okay, that's what we got from the Lock Picking Patrolman. Thank you so much, buddy, for pinning that up and sending it to me. I highly appreciate it. Uh, to everybody else out there, thank you so much for watching. The thumbs up and the comments. I really do appreciate every single one of you. And uh, again, uh, for uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I um, uh, said it before and I'll say it again. Um, all of us, everybody, I would say, is affected in some way, shape, or form by either uh, breast cancer or some sort of cancer and uh, if there's anything that you can do to um, help um, I suggest you do so because uh, they need it. Alright y'all, Big Al signing out.